when you when you're raised with a with under the oppression of rejection, you also tend to tolerate a lot of mistreatment and dysfunctional relationships. You tolerate that kind of stuff. Let me prove it to you. Watch what happens right there in verse 10. In verse 10, it says, uh, the very next day, this tormented spirit came from on Saul. He's in the house acting like a madman. David played his harp as he did each day, but Saul had a spear in his hand. Look at verse 11. And he suddenly hurled it at David, intending to pin him to the wall. Watch this. So Saul snaps and tries to kill David in that moment. That's not even what blew me away. What blew me away is the end of the verse says, and David got away from him twice. This is slow service. Twice? Let me tell y'all something. If I'm in a staff meeting and my boss try to kill me, I'm going to HR that day. There will be a complaint. Twice? That's dysfunction. He beat you twice? The police been in your house twice? She didn't cuss you out and call you out your name? Okay, let's do it like this. See, you see, I see y'all, I'm losing y'all. You're dropping your head. People who are raised with self-worth and self-value, they don't play that. They don't tolerate nothing. You mess with them. They be like, uh, who are you talking to? But when the people that mattered didn't make you feel like you mattered, you tend to tolerate stuff that you shouldn't. And what is dysfunctional becomes your normal. Because you don't feel valuable, so you don't feel like they feel that I should be valuable. So this is kind of how unvaluable people operate. Mm, you used to see your faces. See, it, it, it goes back to rejection. Rejection to make you think you're worthy of mistreatment. 